Bernstein Show. Here's Ed. Are you looking to stay in shape and enjoy it? How do you work out and enjoy it? Well, with me today is Mike Borden from Rusty Bridges from True Fusion. Yeah. Now, look, there's True Fusions. I, I got one in Summerlin. There's one in, in, uh, in Henderson. There, there's one in the middle of town. Um, what makes True Fusion different than, than a normal gym? We're everything in the group fitness umbrella uh, under one roof and then we drive the price point down with a premium perception. So it's, uh, we, we start with a yoga, we're a yoga based business first. We have Pilates, we have mat Pilates, we have kettlebells, we have battle ropes, we have TRX, we have uh, spin, we have boxing classes. Something I'm missing, Rusty? <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing I mean, somewhere. Yeah. We have 60, 65 <laughs> class types. But well, when you go into yeah. most gyms, you know, yeah. You know, it's a, a big room with a lot of weights and a lot of machines, and then maybe they'll have a little room on the side where they'll yeah. teach an occasional yoga class. That's not what you're doing, is it? No, not at no. all. Yeah. True Fusion special because you have every type of modality that you can do under one roof. Some things that people might not have tried before, they can go in and try for the first time. And everything is high quality. So it's not like these big box gyms where you kind of go in and have to do it yourself. Everything is group-based, everything has an instructor-led, so it kind of gives you some motivation and also some instruction on how to do things properly to see the best results all the time. Right, and the classes, yeah. you say, are instructor-led. I mean, I noticed that, I mean, the, the instructors there are very, very well certified, they're very well-educated, I yeah. mean, they really know what they're doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. we have a learning management system called Bridge that we have over 320 classes that are interactive, online, uh, for our instructors to go through. So we, we start with a class, we start with a training program, and then because we're a franchise system and we're in eight different states uh, with 20 different studios, how do we manage that quality and, and have the product be consistent inside the room? So it's something that we cared a lot about, but something you'll, you'll like, Ed, is you know, when I go to the gym, I, I don't want to think about it, right? I, I have enough stress throughout the day. <laughs> I just want someone to tell me what to do and going in those classes, going through that experience of the warm-up, the intro, you know, working your tail off, and then finishing really is one of the most experiencing, fulfilling things you can do throughout your day. And I see you in the class an awful lot. <laughs> well, look, I, I, I re look, and I was going to ask you about yeah. that because um, you started with one studio uh -huh. on Eastern. I'm, sh I'm sure I was one of the first ten um, um, clients that, that joined, but. Yeah. But I, and, I, and I did at that time because I, I, mean, I was really into doing yoga and, uh, and Pilates and, 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 and hot, heated, heated yoga and Pilates. Now, not all your classes are heated. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we have for people who like hot something or not hot, you have a variety. But from that little modest start, yeah. and it wasn't so modest, it was a beautiful studio, I should say, yeah. on Eastern, um, you're now in eight states and now you're, Dubai, I mean, you're opening yeah. up in Dubai as well. That's right. But let me, what, why did you start True Fusion and right. where did you get the name? Got it. Well, uh, you know, I did. as a young man, I, I was in football, wrestling, track and field. I was a pole vaulter and a hurdler. I've been an athlete. I was a professional broadsword fighter on the show at the Excalibur, right? Oh, hold on. Right? Oh, <laughs> right? Uh, folks, yeah. Say that yeah. one more time. Yeah. I, you, you kind of skimmed over it a little too yeah. quickly. <laughs> a professional. Yeah. So I was a broadsword fighter at the show at the Excalibur from 96 to 2000. I've been in uh, over 1,800 shows. Is that, is yeah. that physically exhausting? To it is. It's yeah. awesome. It yeah. kicks your butt. Right? <laughs> I busted this finger a lot. I blew out my knee on stage. I've dislocated my shoulders. and. You know, the repetitive injury, it's, it's a tough show, but it really right. is a lot of fun. And it was a great job as a young man in the city. It was mm -hmm. tons of fun. It was pretty neat to do. My kids yeah. love the show, too. <laughs> yeah. so it's great. We still go back and we eat the chickens and pound on the tables, and <laughs> it's great. So it really is a lot of fun. And I, you know, being an athlete, I love athletics. Uh, I love hot. Being a wrestler, right? We always wrestled in hot rooms with all of our stuff on. You know, uh, in 2006, 2007, I was still working at the data center company with my brother, right? We were building Switch, and I used to go to a company called Vegas Hot. Yeah, and, he, and, and he kind of skims over that yeah. like it was no big deal either, yeah. because you help, did help you know, build yeah. Switch. It was pretty neat, huge, right? Yeah. yeah. Huge um, um, public company here, located it's, here in Las Vegas. It's done well. Yeah. It's done well. I'm thankful yeah. I was there, and it's great. 
But uh, I went back and forth, and I said, this would really be something unique if someone applied the right business acumen with the facilities and made it an experiential brand with the music and customer service and had some marketing and some things behind it. And we went, okay, well, let's see what this looks like. And when I, when I left Switch and retired, uh, True Fusion was the second business that I invested in. Um, there were already some business partners that had started it and some investors that were already going and they'd picked that site over on Eastern and 215. And uh, I worked pretty hard. I said, look, I want to be the money guy. I want to come in and help you. Mm -hmm. I want to disrupt this business, this industry, and do something really neat. Uh, so let's go. And I worked, uh, bought out the other money guy, and then we started in 2013 uh, in one little studio um, that was, uh, it used to, it was a building that was struck by lightning and was all burnt out. Mm -hmm. And so we got struck by lightning, <laughs> True Fusion did. And uh, we refurbished it did the TI and I remember even you coming in as one of the first customers and so we started with a little proof of concept and then in 2015 we hit the franchise button. We brought in a subject matter expert that had been in the franchising business to help us mm -hmm. and in 2017 we brought in Alex Rodriguez, right? So the, the professional uh, baseball A player, A-Rod, that's right, as a uh, brand advocate and he, he loves working out. He's been through a couple different surgeries and you know, he likes the regenerative piece of our business. Mm -hmm. Anyone that's, that, that comes to True Fusion as a customer, uh, we get a lot of CrossFit people that have been hurt, damaged, injured. Because we're a yoga-based business first and a regenerative brand, we're able to help them with their flexibility and long lean muscle and start to get people that have been in car accidents and go, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't walk, I couldn't move my neck, I had this problem through coming to class, through the heat therapy, exercise and light stretching or lots of stretching, depending on what you need, we, we have some great success stories where we've helped people transform their lives. So it's really neat. You know, our little, our little fitness business mm -hmm. really changes people's lives. Absolutely. It's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I like about it, Rusty, is um, when you're in a class, it doesn't matter. Look, I'm an older guy. A lot of the people in the class are younger. I mean, sure. they're all ages. All ages. Male, female. Um, but you can do as difficult an exercise or, I mean, there's modifications and the instructors will give you modifications for, for all the routines. So if I can't, look, I can't keep up with a 20 year old, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they'll teach me how to yeah. modify. And so in the same class, mm -hmm. you know, and you get the motivation of everybody yeah. in the class doing it, but you can yeah. kind of, you know, modify it to fit your needs. Absolutely. And that's, that's by design. Uh, we don't want to be just one specific uh, modality or one specific class for one type and because you really cut down the number of people that you can service during that time from so not only business wise but also just for a wellness overall experience we want people to be able to come in and feel comfortable someone that's maybe a little older someone that's new that might not be experienced with yoga i still don't really understand all the different sayings <laughs> and poses so i mean they don't make you feel uncomfortable and the trainers and the instructors are trained to make everybody feel inclusive and be able to do different modifications and be able to get the most out of their experience. Our tagline is find your edge. And we spoke, we, we, we chose that specifically because your edge is gonna be different than my edge is gonna be different than his yeah. edge. But at the same time, we want you to excel and, and be the best that you possibly, best version of yourself that you can be. You know, I, I find that people also, when they talk about this yoga, for instance, mm -hmm. It's not just one thing. I mean, there's oh, multiple no. different types of yeah. yoga, multiple different types of, of, of Pilates, and, sure. and I just wanted to touch on that yeah. just so, so our, our viewers can understand some of the differences. Like, like in, in yoga, there's hot yoga, there's non-hot yoga, there's a, like a yin, there's a sangha. I mean, you, you have a lot, a variety of those kind of classes. Absolutely, and I mean, I'll, I'll be the first person to admit, I was very intimidated taking my first yoga class. And the only reason why I actually took it was I had signed up for a True Fusion class and I got there a little late and they closed it <laughs> off and said, sorry, you can't come in, we're closed. And the only class they had available was a yoga class. And I was like, okay, I'll take this yoga class. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love being able to understand the different pieces. Now, can I stand on my head and be able to do the splits? No, that's not for me. But to be able to have, I mean, you can go everything from just stretching all the way to a way of life and have that really impact how you actually go about your life so right. yoga can be all-encompassing but at the same time you can 
do as much or as little as you like to and get benefits from it. Look, I, uh, I've always been an athlete as well, Mike. I was on yeah. a gymnastics team, but I, 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 I was not naturally flexible. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. I had always had trouble, even as good a gymnast as I was in high school, mm -hmm. touch, I couldn't touch my toes well. Sure. Yeah. Right? So when I started taking a yoga class, my goal was I wouldn't be able to touch, <laughs> touch the floor. Touch your toes. <laughs> yeah, okay? right. yeah. I did that. You know, it, just, awesome. you know, and it wasn't hard. I mean, yeah. just, it just took a couple classes a week and, and sooner, you know, sooner than later, then you were, sure. you were touching your toes. Sure. Uh, also, now, when it comes to the term Pilates, Mm -hmm. And named after a man named Joseph Pilates, who kind of discovered the uh, the, the, uh, the sport. Um, but there's different types of Pilates as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and there's also something called Pilates Reformer. Can you talk about the difference in those yes. things? Yeah. So Pilates Reformer is with the machine, and we do offer those classes at Blue Diamond, mm -hmm. uh, and we're actually getting ready to put those same classes down at Downtown Summerlin. Something that's kind of neat that uh, we haven't had a chance to announce yet is we're a franchise system and we own the two corporate stores, Eastern and Blue Diamond, and we just purchased back from the original franchisees uh, downtown Summerlin. So we can consolidate the city and offer more programming to our customers in the community. Uh, and one of those products is the Pilates Reformers class that we're going to put. We'll put Pilates Reformers in. Summerlin and uh, expand the, the classes and the machines in Blue Diamond. And then Eastern, we're kind of limited because it's only 9,600 square feet, so it'll still stay a four-room concept. But we do offer mat Pilates classes in there. So that is a, you know, it's a Pilates exercise on a mat that's led by an instructor with an incredible playlist and really great lighting in a hot, humid room that just gives you, you know, the, the, the best feeling when you're all done. There's never been one time that I went to, to work out at True Fusion and went, damn it, I wish I didn't go work out, yeah, right? for sure. Every time. You I feel always, better all the time when you always, finish. Always. All the time. Yeah. And, and I go, I'm, I'm so thankful and I, I'm lucky and blessed to have been involved with this, to create it, and then, you know, to hear all the different stories in the community with people that love True Fusion and has an impact in their life, a real impact. And we're a community center, we help people with their fitness, we help them with their mental well-being, with their, their goals, right? I mean, if you're in class working hard, you're exercising your mind and relaxing and not thinking about all of those problems throughout the day. It's, it's not just physical, but it's mental, it's all-encompassing. So it's, yeah, it's, it, really, it. it's really special. It's yeah, really, you, really you, neat. You do, you, do take, you do give your yeah. mind a vacation for that hour. Yeah. Uh, you started talking, Rusty, about the, the, diff the modalities. Mm -hmm. Well, that Pilates reformer, is a great rehabilitative oh, um, exerciser, yeah. and you know if you have any kind of injury, I mean, there you can design um, um, physical therapy yourself on those. In fact, physical therapists yeah. do, in fact, use them, right? Absolutely. Yeah, the reformer machine is pretty special because you can put different resistance bands on it to either make the workout more difficult or easier. So that way, instead of having to lift your body weight constantly, you can have those assistance so you can really gradually increase your mobility and right. increase your strength mm -hmm. through that whole process right. so without putting strain without on any strain your knees yes. or your, exactly. your, your, your exactly. ankles or your, mm -hmm. any, any, your anywhere else hips yeah um, some of the other things you have there you have a room now what is, what is TRX? <laughs> TRX is fun <laughs> It, it's a it's a brutal workout, or, yeah. or it can be a pretty easy workout, depending on how you go it up. But it's a series of straps that you're able to put into your hands and be able to do push-ups or set-ups or all kinds of different uh, mechanisms to be able to really hone your body and really focus on different aspects of your body. Yeah. And you really helps on your core. body weight to mm -hmm. really yep. to all uh, body as weight. Resistant. And it, they just showed on this, this screen there was some boxing in there as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We, and we cycling. Have, and cycling, right? And uh, so we have aqua bags at one at the studios that we started implementing. And you know, it's, it's interesting. You know, we started with the studio in 2013 in Las Vegas at mm -hmm. Eastern and, and 215. We hit the franchise button, and as you grow through and you become a seasoned franchise, or you have best practices that you learn. And our new studios all have aqua bags that hang on the ceiling What's that? that come down. Uh, it's just basically it's a. It's, it's a aqua a, meaning water. Yep, yes. water. It's a, it's a it's a rubber bag that looks like a buoy on a on a boat, <laughs> sure. right? That's filled Big with water drop. on a winch that comes down, and you take you know you practice boxing oh, okay. on it, and it's 
It's Instead really of pretty. a speed bag or a heavy bag. Yeah, heavy, heavy bags take up a lot of space. They're expensive. They're, and you know, hurt your fists. They're, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're yeah. dangerous if you don't yeah. punch them the right way. The right. aqua bag is softer and more forgiving for first time boxers and other things. And that's really what we're about is the experience and getting whatever your, your, your level of fitness is and getting you exposed to it so you like it. And as you develop your skills, then you can get better at it, right? I, I know yeah. during COVID, um, yeah. uh, it was challenging for all of us. And you mm -hmm. at that time were trying to open a, a new studio in, in West Hollywood. Yeah, we did. Uh, we finally opened it. Finally. Finally. Yeah, right. <laughs> three years later. Well, three years you worked on this studio. It tough. was absolutely state of the art. Um, yeah. Like, 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 like all your studios are. I mean, they're all, yeah. you know, uh, very modern, contemporary, state yeah. of the art, edgy, um, yeah. and, and new. And it, you keep. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful them. studio. Yeah. Here's, here's a picture of our spin room, right? This has an infinity room or infinity mirror. And something in the back is the mural. And we do that through our marketing uh, team that we do something that's local and put a local flavor in there. There's a picture of Kobe Bryant in there. There's a picture of the Hollywood California you know, flag, white sign, the California stuff. flag. Mm -hmm. And as the lights change, the different pictures come in and out. And it just really uh, enhances the experience and localizes it. So Absolutely. people have a, a sense of pride and ownership uh, for that studio. What did COVID do to the fitness industry? Oof. Yeah. Decimated. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was pretty ugly. Uh, we saw a lot of our competitors file bankruptcy or go through restructuring. We saw a lot of our single competitors that, you know, that were maybe a modality in, in yoga or fitness or CrossFit. They just went out of business and they disappeared, right? They didn't have the financial wherewithal or the, I'd say, the agility, the, the agility to navigate and change or even the legal uh, advice. Well, people no. weren't going yeah. out of their houses, so, no. so how did you deal with yeah. that? How, how, how did you then deal with that with, oh. with people yeah. being able to work out? It was, it was kind of terrifying as the franchisor. You go, what do we do? How do we keep our customers happy and keep them in the ecosystem? And Rusty you know, worked on this, and we were able to go to an online platform and start delivering some of our classes. So Rusty, uh, you... It was, Mike and I were literally going to the airport to go and open up our new studio in Seattle, Washington. And we got the call that, hey, we've just been shut down. Mm. Yeah, Seattle was kind of like the ground zero of the COVID pandemic. Yeah. And we canceled our flights and looked at each other and said, what are we gonna do? Yeah. And within 48 hours, we were able to film, take footage that we had previously recorded and be able to stand up an online platform to allow all of our members to be able to go online and still do the same True Fusion workouts with the same instructors that they knew and love at home and we even had the uh, ability for people to come and grab equipment and be able to use kettlebells and take them home and be able to rent and take yeah. wristbands at bands. We took coffee cups and, and just all different types of things to make it to where they had some kind of resistance and they were able to use online to still continue mm. to have their workout journey. Yeah. It was honestly the only thing, in my opinion, that saved True Fusion and our membership base um, to continue on after the pandemic. And, and you see that becoming part of the future? 100%. Rusty? Yeah, I think what COVID has taught us is, you know, doing a Zoom call prior to COVID was very formal and very specific. Right. You know, you had to get used to kids running in the background and dogs barking. And so it kind of made things a little less formal, but it also allowed us to be accepting of virtual uh, moments. And so we now see a lot of our consumers still wanting to have that interactive, that human interaction, but then also when times are tough or when things, you know, they may not filling under the weather or they must not have time, go online yeah. and be able to take a class and be able to still get their work out in. Right. Or traveling. Or right. traveling. traveling or just, or, yeah. It's great for Absolutely. that, right? You can right. travel and just download, yeah. load it up and take right. your class. Take right. your telephone and, yeah. and, and check it out. Right? One of the amazing. things that we did during the COVID is we transitioned very heavily online through an app called True Connect. Mm -hmm. And something that we're really excited about, we have classes, everything from kids doing Kung Fu with all kinds of different animals and fun stuff all the way through to obesity classes that are specifically designed for obesity, to senior citizens, to everything in between. There's thousands and thousands of hours of classes that they, people can go on and literally through their app, stream it to their TV, stream it to their iPad, whatever, they're able to do their workout and be able to get tons of great content to be able to keep themselves healthy and, and well. Where, where do you see health and wellness going? I mean, it seems to me like it's, mm. it's evolving at a rate that 
uh, and a speed like we've never had before. Sure. It is. It's a, a very dynamic field, and it's such a broad spectrum of things from biohacking, right? That's, which is what? What is biohacking? Which, so it's, it's a, you know, it's, it started off with, I'd, I'd say, probably, you know, from the meditative standpoint, uh, you know, the monks would meditate for hours and years to get to that Zen state of mind, and now they can use electronics and technology to get your brain to get to the same frequency and, and do those things. And there's proven studies that when you get there, it's great for your overall mental well-being, your health and wellness, and just your overall state of mind. Now, now there's, you know, Dave Asprey has a biohacking conference that I went to in Florida this year, which was really neat. There's you know, genetic testing that they're doing. There's, you know, the red light therapy. There's all kinds of, uh, you know, world-class, um, you know, tr you know the, the compression suits. Sure. There's alternative like, yeah. therapies that yeah. just aren't. I mean, what is, what, what is the, the yeah. salt thing? Well, yeah, you have that too, right? Well, so yeah. it, so something that, that's pretty yeah. neat is, you know, Himalayan pink salt is really great for you. Uh, it's uh, if you look at the miners that have that have been mining it, they have less uh, is instances of cancer, right? You go, interesting. There's some uh, and the minerals and things are in it. There's uh, Himalayan pink salt. There's studios all over. You can go and relax, and sure. it's proven to help with your respiratory and your your overall uh, well sense being in. West Hollywood, we opened in our sanctuary a uh, pink Himalayan salt wall that's backlit with LEDs to add to the zen of that room before, mm -hmm. before you go into either one of those yoga classes and uh, uh, just setting your intention and letting all the stress and pressure from the day just wash away and then go in and have a wonderful experience. Because yeah. we, we are an experiential brand. Very much. And, and you also working now in the, in the um the suntan world? <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but but not with yeah. not with the sun. Look, the sun yeah. the, the sun, yeah. the sun is you know is yeah. healthy, but some can be not healthy sure. as well, right? Or yeah. Yeah. No damaging UV lights yeah. and no syntax, right? That's important. <laughs> very. Right. And um, our uh, our ex president of mm -hmm. True Fusion, she's very big into health and beauty and wellness, and she was the brainchild of this uh, new sh new offshoot concept called Summer House. We opened our first one. Uh, it's a pilot that opened last year. It's been mm -hmm. almost 12 almost months. 12 months. Right next to downtown Summerlin. Mm -hmm. And you go in, it's a, it's a premium luxury spray tanning concept that we use nothing but estheticians. There's a, a sugaring, which is like a, uh, it's, it's like a wax, but it's... Um, hair removal. Yes, yeah, it's hair removal. It comes from, you know, the Egyptian, uh, you know, uh, the, the same formulas that the Egyptians were using. Kind of, it's, mm -hmm. it's honey. And sugar and I think salt might actually be in there. There for might some be a little reason. salt that you melt it all up. And salt it's, is good as long as you're not eating it. It's, it's good for everything. Either, right? That's right. Yeah. That's That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. But it's really neat. And then we have estheticians that will put on your uh -huh. your hand and foot cream. They'll give you a, a light, quick mini, mini you know, facial. mini facial, and they'll rub your feet. And then you you go in and you, you you get your spray tan, and you get to pick your color. You get to pick your formula, and you know change the music of what you want when you're in there. And if it's really, it's really a first class. Tanning's uh -huh. always yeah. been a very dirty, you know, mm -hmm. seedy kind of thing. What its connotation has been, and Carrie wanted to make that a more luxurious, you know, all-encompassing piece. And so, I mean, I go there just to unwind. It's—I mean, you come out of that 30, 45 minutes, and you not only look great, but you also feel amazing mm -hmm. when you come out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. it's a pretty exciting thing and doing really well. You, yeah. you know, you, uh, look, you, you, you are. Bringing a health, wellness, and yeah. physical fitness to a to a, a new level. I mean, oh, you're using science you. and and um, and hard work to do it. But things didn't start out that way for you. I mean, you grew yeah. up in a very humble background, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> yeah. You, know, you want to talk about it? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I grew up in the in the Midwest in Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, you know, at a at a young age, my father was in a diving accident, and he. Uh, broke his neck the same accident as Christopher Reeve, right? Uh, we were upper middle class family. But he was he a paraplegic? Or? He was a quadriplegic, Quadru C3, C, C4. Was, was that a motivation, do you yeah. think, for you, Mike, to be doing what you're doing now? Well, you know, uh, it, it was it was our normal. I didn't really think about, you know, uh, boo-hoo, what was me. It just was the way it was. And then looking back at it, you know, Dad was a great human being. He taught, you know, our whole family, uh, you know, hard work, 
uh, honor, integrity, value, ethics, critical problem solving, and led by example. We lost everything because the insurance bill wasn't paid. Uh, it was at one house or the other. My parents were going through a separation at the time. And uh, we grew up on government cheese, essentially. And that really kind of stunk. But once again, it was our normal. And family was OK, and life was good. But uh, dad, with no mobility in his arms and legs, was able to rebuild you know, the, the insulation subcontracting company that we grew up with, which mm -hmm. is a miserable industry <laughs> to be in. But we, we learned hard work and, and learned about a lot about it. He started two nonprofits and uh, ultimately uh, changed you know, how the Department of Vocational Rehab Services looks at people with disabilities and how they can get them back uh, and be productive citizens in society and contribute and get some of the, you know, that self-worth and those things back. It, it was such a successful program that not only did uh, Governor Thompson uh, change the laws in the state of Wisconsin, but when Governor Thompson went to be uh, Bush 43's uh, cabinet member for Health and Human Services, it passed federally you know, through the House and the Senate. Yeah. And I was fortunate enough to take Dad to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. to receive that award. So that was, was pretty neat, right? And if my dad can do all that with no mobility in his arms and legs and make the world a better place, what's, what's our excuse, excuse, right? You know, we have a, we really, we can do so much better. And I use that as a guiding light every day. Right? And, yeah. and, and you're true to that. I mean, yeah. you're, you're very active in so many, yeah. um, so many charitable causes, uh, yeah. you know, with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. I know yeah. you're an honoree this year. I know yeah. that uh, that you with the Goody Two Shoes. Shoes, yeah. you're very active in yeah. giving you know, shoes to uh, the unfortunate yeah. uh, you know, kids. I sat and on the board for Habitat for Habitat Humanity for, humanity for 12 humanity. years. Was the chairman right. for eight, right? Right, yeah. building houses. And this is right. how Rusty and I met. Was yeah. he was on the board at Monday's Dark, and Habitat was a, was the charity of choice for that weekend. Right. And I got to go out there and experience what an incredible organization that is. That's, that's Mark Chinook's. Yeah, um, it is. Mark Chinook's put on it. Yeah. And the rest is history. You know, Rusty, is. Rusty yeah. and I have been working together ever since. Well, it's a good time to segue yeah. out because yeah. we are <laughs> just about out of time. Uh, hey, if you haven't had a chance to uh, get to any of the two fusions of downtown Summerlin, Eastern and 215, Blue Diamond and, uh, the, what is it, uh, Blue Diamond and Jones. Jen Right Decatur, 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 Blue Diamond, Diamond. Decatur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Rusty Bridges, My Mike pleasure. Borden. Thank you. Thank you. And man. we'll see you next week. When sorry is not enough. Enough said. Call Ed. EdBernstein.com.